So, there's actually one more side quest we can do along the way, which is, uh, well, kill some Bullymong and open up one of the, a few of those piles. There we go. And with the fire shield gun we just got, this is going to be easy because these things don't like fire. And they like to come up close. So, first up, five Bullymong piles. Uh, done with. It seems Bullymongs use those bounds to dispose of their refuse. That suggests a primate level intelligence. That's it. I shall call them primal beasts. I'll run it by my publishers. In the meantime, blow up some primal beasts with grenades. Would you see how the new name works? So, kill a primal beast with a grenade. Let's do that. Easy does it. There we go. Savage Lee, how, who the fuck are you? Ooh, ooh, what the fuck? So the names actually change on the bully monks themselves as well. But that that dude actually dropped the legendary. What the fuck? What does this do? Un explicit uncapped ha- ow. Dude, fuck off. Explicit uncapped herald, 80 damage, with a very high accuracy, fire rate, reload speed and magazine size. Did I fire six shots or only five? Three, seven, whatever. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's an explosive weapon, so might as well swap that out. Now that I have an, a fire shotgun, might as well swap that out for the molly one. What the hell is this thing now? That's my second legendary in, what, four hours? That is ridiculous. Um, so the problem is now we need to shoot one of those projectiles out of the air and I'm out of bully mongs. So let's find some. So our final batch of bully mong is actually right next to the sanctuary entrance. So might as well use that. So if I keep my distance. God damn it. Come on, throw me some rocks. That's one. Yeah, I got one there. And that's the third one. There we go, kill a few or something. Bonafart slingers, a normal, normal Bonafart. So we need to kill five more. I'm hoping I have five more because this is going to suck otherwise. Um, would you fuck off? Thank you. Okay, I think the bone of farts are all dead. So, more bone of farts over here for this silly little side quest. I haven't used the new gun actually. Let's use the new gun. Oh, what the fuck? They split, they split bullets. Look at how many bullets I'm firing! I just need to shoot in the general direction and things just die. And I don't think... Ah, they do. They do fire multiple rounds at once. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's three side quests we can uh, turn in to Sanctuary. Give me a second. So there we go, back in Sanctuary we have three quests to turn in and we actually got a nice new exotic for it. Well. What's it called in this game? I think it's legendary, right? It's just legendary, I think. Um, for us, right there. The explicit uncapped herald. Sadly, it was only level 7 when we picked it up, so it's probably going to be, well, redundant rather quickly. But hey, that's our second uh, orange in uh, a few hours' time, which is amazing. So let's talk to Zed. There we go, and we get ourselves a E-Tech oh, right. weapon I'm in return as well. The of these e -tech guns on bandits. Right now, it looks like uh, looks like if you shoot them a lot, they die. <laughs> oh, did I mention I don't have a medical license? You did. So there we go. That's that. We don't get a new quest from him. I'm actually gonna just buy two more of those health kits because I'm actually hurting a bit. Uh, I'm gonna actually get rid of this fire thingy then and then the worst explosive shotgun 
And the tinderbox, the murderer's tinderbox as well. And yeah, you know what? I'm not. Yeah, I, I don't have any use for the grenade mod either. Or the speedy shield, so. There we go. Sold a lot of stuff. Then we have. I think it's on the board first, right? Yeah. So on the board, we have the Assassin's Quest we can turn in, because technically that's a quest from Roland, but since Roland is not here, we can't do anything about that just yet. Hmm, both of them are useless. I'm going to go the one, for the one I can sell for more. Then, while we're passing by, Earl will buy another upgrade. So storage tech upgrade is 8, so let's not do that just yet. I'm just going to go for a grenade storage upgrade, so we can carry 4 grenades instead of 3. Indeed. Oh, what are you buying? And then we can turn in the name game, add Hammerlock as well. There we go. And we got a crappy shotgun or a spike shield. There we go. Side checked. We get more badass ranks from completing side quests, which is great as well. And that means we actually have a badass rank to use. See, badass token, let's redeem that. Gun accuracy, fire rate, recoil reduction, reload speed or shield recharge delay. I'm gonna go for the delay upgrade. So that's 0.4 extra for that. There we go. Every time I go to Sanctuary, I also check the gun shops because they can actually spawn better, uh, better guns as well. And they're always pretty high level as well. So, uh, but with that done, we can continue on with the main quest and go to Frostburn Canyon. Now one of the harder things to do, cross the bridge with these vehicles, because it's really, really annoying. And I think... Yeah, so this is where we need to go. So, Frostburn Canyon. Again, one of those uh, names that just say all of it, doesn't it? Oh, that's a pyro. That's a pyro. Let's just do that. Get the sniper rifle on the... That flame too is really annoying, but on my shield it doesn't really do much. I think I'm gonna use the explosive gun. Yeah, things just die when that happens. There we go. That is a nice legendary though, even though it's under leveled. So it's at level 7 while I'm at level 11 already. It still is nice, but it's gonna burn through ammo really, really quickly, I think. But that's a bit of a bit of a camp before the actual level, because the loading screen is right over here, heading into Frostburn Canyon to hunt the Firehawk. So this is a really big the level. Should be around here somewhere. Stay alert. So remember, Roland got kidnapped the by the Firehawk. They've probably left landmarks for their reinforcements. Those should lead you to the Firehawk. That or just follow the screaming. There we go. So the two bandit camps are going at it against each other. And I love how the respawn points also are bloody. And to say scram. But uh, this is a really big level. And the reason why it is so big is because it's a story level. Between the blood shots and the firehawk. Once my boys bring his ass back to me, he's gonna pay for every blood shot he killed. We're gonna string him up from his own freaking intestines. Well, that was needlessly graphic. Yeah. Indeed it was. Hello, Marauder. Shotgun to the face. I'm actually gonna see. Where is this guy? Wait. Where are you, buddy? There he is. Aha, and there we have our first Goliath. So these guys are uh, hulking brutes with miniguns. But if you shoot their head off, they actually start freaking out. There we go. Raging badass Goliath, and I think he saw me. And I think I missed his head. I'm not gonna get more chances for this. So these guys are interesting. They can actually level up while you're fighting them. But this one is not gonna last long. There we go. You also get a lot of experience for killing these guys, and they're not easy to kill usually. But they do level up if they're enraged, if you give them the chance to. There's actually a trophy tied to letting one level up three times and then killing it. But that would put it above my level. Because he started at level 9. So, story mission. Which is why this level is so big. But also, uh, if you remember why we're here. Roland was kidnapped by the Firehawk. Which is why we're actually here to save him from 
the Firehawk himself, which seems to be a uh, fearless bandit leader. And this toilet is unopenable. So, spread among these, uh, this level are indicators of the Firehawk. I think you can even shoot them. No? Thought you could set them ablaze. Or is that not what I'm looking for? I'm gonna unravel, or is it that? There we go, that's the thing you can set ablaze. Okay, these guys are firing ahead and there's another Goliath over there. Let's just hit him. Let's just hit him. I'm better with melee anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, this is gonna be a meme. And there we go, another Goliath loses his head. And he's gonna start barreling down upon me. I mean, it's not that bad that I'm missing that, right? I mean, it's a tiny, it's a tiny, it's a tiny head. It's a tiny head. No, you can't. There we go. I only need one shot. Even though I missed like five shots first before we even get to the... Yeah, never mind. Blister Bus Camp, because that's that's a lovely name for a camp, isn't it? That, that is just Blister Bus. That even sounds gross. Let's just grab all that. I'm actually out of shotgun bullets. So these are the things we need to set ablaze, because we get badass ranks for that. I think there's a weapons chest hidden among these things over here. So let's blast these guys out of their homes. No, I won't. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at the map. Look at the map, and there's somebody with a fire weapon. Okay, that seems to be that. Midget lover? I just killed one. Oh god. Yeah, the explosive gun is, uh, is fun. It's fun. They're all dying. Ooh, with one or two shots. I think I'm gonna toss a grenade over there. So the shield is holding nice. I'm just gonna let it recharge. Let's kill this guy. They're leveling up, definitely. Because that guy was level 11. What the hell happened there? So he can actually kill enemies, and if he's killing enemies, he's le actually leveling up. I'm wondering if I can actually let him let him kill stuff. Oh, and they killed him. So of course his friends are going to try and kill him as well if they start firing at him. There we go. And everything starts to get a bit more quiet. Just a little bit. Because again, I need to hurry, because uh, these guys are going to respawn. Ah, on top of the roof. I knew there was one at least. There we go. More pistols. Pistols usually aren't that great. I'm going to start looking out for uh, the higher colors as well. So the blue, purples, and orange difficulty ones. Rarity the ones. Firehawk has harassed the bloodshots for some time. But they have never mounted such a large-scale assault on the Firehawk before. I wonder what's given them such confidence. Good question, going, Angel. Bloodshots! That demonic thing will rue the goddamn day it messed with us! We're gonna make the Firehawk choke to death on his own feces! Dude. Ew. Yeah, that's that's really, really gross. So if you follow that path past the checkpoint, you actually can get another weapons chest over there. If you're wondering, the reason the, the bottom bar says professional is because of the class mod. I think there's four titles per uh, class you can choose. And a display over there. Wow, that guy just exploded. Exploded, I tell you. So let's go and through this a bit quicker. So we find a new enemy, the spider ants, but these guys really don't like explosive damage because it's their bellies that are the most weak but because of the explosive damage you always get a hidden on the back, there we go again a pretty wide open area maybe I should even snipe this There we go. Sniped out perfectly. And moving back through the cave. I think I probably missed another sign already, but... 
I'm not going for every single collectible because that would be a bit over the top. It also actually resets every time you exit and enter an area, so if you haven't done it in one go, you're actually kind of uh, burnuckled. Huh? And there we have a lost echo. As I see the aftermath of the Firehawk's war on the bloodshots, I finally understand. The Firehawk is everywhere. The Firehawk is a god of justice, a god of vengeance and rage and hate and death and beauty. It watches us from on high and it punishes the wicked. We must pay homage. We must pay homage. We must fear the Firehawk, respect the Firehawk, worship the Firehawk! Yeah, I had to stop there for a second because I think we're going to get another uh, audio cue in a second. Well, another dialogue, right? I'm just going to toss one over there. Wait, is this guy still alive? Well, he's not, not anymore. Not anymore. He got shot in the face. So I think this is another one. No? Okay. They're usually up high, like that one. Would you please? Okay, never mind. I'm wasting ammo. You think the Firehawks got rolling, huh? You know, I heard the Firehawk <sighs> liquefies bandits and drinks I got no for this. But now I I'm sure you heard about Roland's just fine. Of course, if Roland hadn't been such a dumbass in the first place, he would... Whoops! Almost spilled the secret! Almost spilled the secret indeed, Jack. Why would you do that? I did set it ablaze. So this always has a badass psycho, I think. They also have an immense amount of health. There we go. That was something... Ooh. A fire assault rifle. A fire assault rifle. That, but the damage is really low. Might as well take it with me. Might as well take it with me. It's not perfect. Okay. You 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 want your mommy to do what? There he goes. Hit in the face. And then swap to that. Set that ablaze. I think I haven't missed any just yet. But as you can see, this is a really big level. And I think... Isn't there another weapons chest over here? They move over here. There's another one of those totems. There we go. Only for that. Only for that. The rest I don't really care about. Aside for ammo. I really need ammo. Starting to run low on pretty much every... Although the pistol ammo is fine. But the rest is starting to go low a bit. But for now we're fine. As long as you remember... Let me explain something. Even keep getting ammo. Even if you do rescue Roland from this Firehawk guy, the Crimson Raiders ain't exactly long for this world. You know what? I think you deserve a little hint. My secret involves your pathetic resistance dying. And me laughing. <laughs> a lot. So, spider hands. And yeah, Jack just hinting at a, the fact that he knows a way of killing us. Oh god. I'm on top of it. So as you can see, most enemies actually have a lot of variation as well. So you have the knights, the spiderlings, the spitters and the queens later on. And the soldiers. I kind of forgot, but the soldiers are the spitters, I think. There we go. Anything of use here? I mean, there's always a chance that they drop... Oh, wow. Fire. Fire. Fire spider head. Another one. Please don't hit me. There we go. More spider ants down. Grabbing myself some ammo and moving on. There we go. That's the second to last one, I think. Oh, no. There's ten of these, right? So that's seven. Okay. Oh. 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 
Well, the burning psycho is now actually burning. Didn't even know you could actually burn a burning psycho. Kind of assumed they were immune to that. There we go, glide down. We actually also get more um, experience from uh, a leveled up Goliath. Okay, he leveled up. There you go. Well, that was a fight. A bit more dynamic than I've uh, been doing it so far. I feel like we're getting more and more powerful, especially with that kill skill. That just keeps us going on shields. Let's just swap to the shotgun for this one. Or not, because it's a pyro. <laughs> I love the midget's final words. Mitch, Mitch, no final words. You mad, bro? Kill nomads. Kill the load of nomads. I think we are at 75 nomads. Because they keep spawning them in our face. There is actually a hidden weapons chest in this area. Because it's quite a bit, quite a big area. I'm not going to jump into the fire pit. Uh, you can actually, I think you can dump weapons in here and sacrifice them to the firehawk. We're not going to do that. Um, although, you know what, maybe I have something crappy lying around here. Like this, like the, the grenade mold. Let's just go into the inventory and toss the grenade mold out. There we go, we drop that in. And now you can pull the lever and sacrifice that. Or is it no... This is that, right? Oh, it might be that as well, I don't know. I thought that was gonna... There is something like that in the game, but it might be a bit further on. I think, yeah, over here is a little secret area with another weapons chest with, ooh, class molds. Melee damage plus 26%. I'm actually gonna grab that, because that actually stacks with the 500% we're already getting. So, moving further into the ice cave this over is here. Firehawk's hideout. Be careful, Fred. There's always a badass psycho here as well. There we go. I love how this guy just said, almost there, almost there, and then he died. I don't think there's anything over here. I think this is just an alternate path into the cave, but we don't really need to go over there just yet. That's, I think, one of the side quests. I'm just gonna, while well, we're at it, eh? And there's the other badass psycho. So now he's corrosive and burning, because you can stack status effect. There he goes. Just didn't get us to level 12. I, do, I would like to get to level 12 before we head into the next fight. Yeah, we're gonna take some damage. I don't really care. Whee! And then that one over there. Going all around. I think there's no totems here anymore. We probably missed a few, but... And then this one over here. More rumbling. And a final bloodshot sign. That. The sound of those earthquakes marks my drills getting closer and closer to the vault. That's the sound of progress, baby. So, with that done, we're actually at the Firehawks hideout. I'm just gonna check if I need to... You know what? Since this fight is all gonna be close quarters anyway, and let's go with the redundant spiker... And hmm, the Molly one would also be nice. The Herald is probably better. Yeah, let's go with the the Molly one first, and then the shotgun. Should we go for the explosive shotgun? I think we should go for the explosive shotgun. It's all gonna be really close up, so those three shots are gonna come in handy. Um, and let's head in, find the Firehawk. And there we go. We level up. Which is just in time, I'm gonna use that skill points to get another rank of the kill skill over here. And then you can see somebody teleporting and shooting. Let's head in. And there we go, the Firehawk 
is no one other than Lilith herself. And she's still alive. So, Lilith, aka the Firehawk, which is actually a pretty apt name considering her powers. How you doing? The bandits call me the Firehawk, but the name's Lilith. I'm with the Raiders, like you. I keep the bandits in line so Roland can focus on taking down Jack. Anyway, long story, lots of internal bleeding. Could you help me up? Let's revive her, like you would another player. Reviving Lilith. Because, yeah, Ooh, you guys haven't actually seen this. Me up. Get me some iridium, will ya? I should have some in one of my strong boxes. So I think it's on the ladder. There's one on each, probably. There's one on each side. Yeah, there's one over here. Yeah, that's the stuff. Keep it here. She's gonna repeat that line if I do, don't do this quickly. There we go. I think there's another one over here. Oh, thanks. Bet you're looking for Roland, huh? He's not here. The bloodshots grabbed him. Made him cocky, too. They never came after me this hard. There we go. Explosion in the back. They're in here! Get them! <laughs> now the real fun begins. I'll see if I can't phase blast a few of them for you. The meat puppy! There we go. Let's just get rid of the sackers herself. The sackers aren't really a problem, but she's gonna take a lot of them out for us. There's a lot of them in this enclosed space. Definitely dangerous, but Lilith's gonna explain a few of them as well, so. There we go. Ooh. So with badasses, it's usually more important to get some status effects going. So that's the burning and then go in with the shotgun. Maybe even uh, one of these. There we go. Boosting up the damage. And that's pretty much it. It isn't, because it's uh, in waves again. So now we're going to go over here. You don't really get time for ammo because it kind of spawned immediately. I love how that blows up and you just jump from the sides. I'm a ninja! There we go. And then the final ones, I'm just gonna leave that here. And they're just gonna die. I think I blew up Lilith. One over there. Ah, oh, he just hit me. He still hit me there. And there we go. Kill the badass in one go. I'm just gonna whack this guy to death. The boost of melee is amazing, especially if we're gonna find a melee weapon later on. That's gonna be really, really cool. Well, that was fun. Feeling tapped out though. Could you give me another hunk of iridium? Yup. Yeah, that's the stuff. <gasps> give it here. Uh, give it here. Yes, we will. There we go. I'm just gonna jam the button. Thanks. And boosting herself back up. Uh, pretty much full health. She's kind of cheating. Full health, the full power. Uh, yeah. Glowing tattoos. Since the vault opened, my siren powers have been getting a little awesome. Thanks to this iridium stuff. No idea why. Now, let's talk about rescuing my boyfriend. Yes, because Roland is her boyfriend. So there we go. Collect rewards. Well, ex-boyfriend. There we go, an old flame. So now we're past the point where I played this uh, handsome collection already. So uh, there we go, the rescued kind of found the Firehawk and we get a trophy the for that. Before bloodshots grabbed, Roland was getting intel on the vault and what Jack plans to do with it. You have to find him. I gotta head back to Sanctuary and keep the city in one piece while Roland's away. But first I'm gonna teleport you into the bloodshot stronghold. That's where they're keeping Roland. You'll catch him by surprise and have a real advantage. It'll be great. Yay! Teleportation! Woobly woobly woob. And look, uh, we're literally 10 feet away. Sorry. 
Still getting used to this. Reminds me though, Bloodshot Stronghold is full of real tough customers. You might want to train a bit before you take them on. You're doing good out there, by the way. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you, Lilith. Goodbye. I think we still have a few weapons chests over here as a kind of a reward for that battle. There might be more enemies as well, <laughs> by the sounds of it. There we go, getting that. But mostly, this seems to be fine. <laughs> we were gonna make you a balloon animal, and you're running away. I don't think, yeah. It's probably at the very end here to avoid you abusing these chests. So as you can see, during the course of this level I changed my class mod and now I'm a ninja instead of a professional. So there we have the weapons chests. Anything useful? Not really. Because I think it's actually a worse sniper rifle than the one I have. Just gonna swap that back over to what we had. It's 124. Like this? Yeah, it's even worse, but I'm gonna take it for the money. And then grab a few bits of ammo. And that's basically it for this level and this episode, because I'm gonna take a little break. So, uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and the other episodes, of course. And I'd like to see you all back in uh, our Borderlands 2 Let's Play when we get back to Sanctuary and see... Uh, no, we don't need to go back to Sanctuary. I need to infiltrate the Bloodshot Stronghold trophy net. It's on your screen, goddammit. Okay, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of Borderlands 2. Goodbye. Next time on Borderlands 2, we meet the hottest guy on Pandora. I am Incinerator Clay. I witnessed you enter the lair of the Fireheart and return unharmed.